you're an average person with a regular life, then you are the one that will benefit more than anybody else from living a low carb life. Hey there, njroot22.com here with another low carb keto carnivore chat. And today I want to say that we, we've done a lot of videos about low carb. Every, every little nuance and nook and cranny that there can possibly be about low carb and carnivore. I don't really go into keto. I have to mention keto just for the keywords. I mean, I've gone as far as to say we don't really need to do any more videos. The rule of thumb is so simple. Don't raise your blood sugar voluntarily. That's it. And then you don't need, really need to think about anything. And that'll naturally gravitate you towards uh, carnivore and other things like that. You wouldn't, your life would become so simple. But I've seen tons of videos from like all these influencers and fitness gurus and they're all in pretty decent shape and they probably work out to keep their physical appearance looking good for the camera. And they have the nerve to say, oh, you can eat what you want. You can have a salad every now and then. You can have a burger. You can have some cookies and brownies and all this other garbage. And I couldn't disagree more because the majority in, of the people in this country are not fitness gurus and they certainly don't have the time to go to the gym as much as these other people who are claiming that you don't have to do this and that. They say eat what you want. The, most people are just plain vanilla. Pretty much the majority of the country doesn't even ever come close to breaking the plane, breaking the plane on benefiting from their physical activity. If you go to the gym three times a week for 45 minutes or an hour, it's really not doing anything for you. To really get, I mean, I'm certainly, it doesn't hurt, but it's not pushing you over any kind of like plateau by going, going to do a little bit of movement in a gym or walking with weights around, around the block. I mean, if you walk seven days a week for an hour, sure, yeah, that'll, that'll make some, you'll make some progress there. But nothing major league until you start hardcore training. You have to be like obsessive and dedicated. And then at that point, you have the luxury to not watch what you eat. You can have your cheats. Uh, they hurt you, but it doesn't show because your output is better than your input. For the average people, you wouldn't benefit. I mean, you would benefit more. The one single thing you would do is just eat low carb and don't raise your blood sugar. There's not one single thing you can do in your life besides low carbs that, that will, uh, will have a better impact. Nothing, 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 nothing. I mean, of course, other than running two hours a day, and then you're gonna, you, you can never maintain that ever. If you want to put 20 hours in the gym and enjoy your french fries and other junk food that's going to hurt you anyway, go right ahead. And also, I should say, let's say you're low carb. I don't think I'm ever going to be in that fitness 6% body fat. I'm happy with 14. Uh, maybe I can get down to 12 sometimes. But uh, I, I don't think I, it would be impossible for me to get down to 6 in, uh, in this kind of um, life. We don't have the time to work out like that. So... Low carb will keep you at a very nice even level for all year, pretty much. So that's basically it. If you like what we have to say, just go low carb, man. Hit the subscribe, the bell, and I'll see you next video.